Blight Town. City of Disease. And the main problem with Blight Town is it reduces the frame rate very low. Uh, if I wouldn't have, uh, if I wouldn't have 60 frames enabled, then it would be, uh, being at 30, it would be reduced to about, uh, 15 or so. But, since it is at 60, it's to about, uh, 30. Or 33, it was saying before. These enemies are real easy to kill. And hopefully I won't botch it too much. Due to the frame rate. <laughs> it's like using fraps all over again. <laughs> when I was recording this earlier. I mean earlier during the playthrough. Oh, shisa. Now these bugs are a pain, but it's mostly that guy at the moment. Eh! 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 Really? Better get to killing these guys fast. Toxin's the worst. I won't probably need another one of these. There's one more down there, but I should be good. Oh, there's one over there, too. Uh, I have to have expert. No, there's not one down there. There's that one up there, but I have to have expertise to get up there, and I want to make sure that these guys are all gone first. These dogs, I mean. Which these are annoying. These are another annoying enemy in this area. And they also breathe fire. So that's perfect. They're not so annoying down here. Except for uh, when they're clumped up in that three over there. Or two, I mean. Got a fire creep, so sweet. Mm. But yeah, they're just annoying. Get in the way. Slightly close there, friend. Alright, then I'll see if I can get that guy over there. <coughs> I also missed an item over that way. Which actually I should get first, I think. Yeah, let me go get that first. Hopefully I'll be fine. Up oh, other side. Soul of a proud knight. Now, in, uh, in other circumstances, I'd be able to clear that gap, but with 60 frames, every everything's faster, so that means the animations are faster. I've, I know I've already talked about this, but... Yeah, so I fall faster. Actually, uh... There we go. This will help me jump better. Nope. Alright. Uh, I'll try again. There's one part in this area, which I might have to... S nah, no. I'll explain it after I... Uh, damn it. 
Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to make that. I just drop off. Anyway, there's uh, one area in the Blight Town where they're uh, it's up top, more so. Uh, this like planked up village, sorta. Where uh, you can get another katana called Ayato, but to get it, you have to uh, you have to jump quite a ways, and that's going to be difficult, actually impossible, considering I'm running it at 60 frames. Trust me, I've tried it. So I'm probably I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave the weapon there because it's not that big of a deal. I already have a katana, and yeah. Uh. Oh, I want to go over there. Shoot. Uh... There's a set of armor over there. Nah. I'm not going to get it. It's a... It's another armor set you can just see later. It's not that big of a deal. It's a... The sealer outfit. Oh, uh, fun fact. Those dogs should be up there. But that uh, dog is turning the wheel. Wow! Why is that dog down there? I've never noticed that before. Or maybe it's just a bug at the moment. <laughs> There's no way. It could no, no. No, it just be. It must just be messed up at the moment. That dog shouldn't be there. It's never been there. So as you, as you uh, see, I was running kind of slow there, and don't worry about that, that's just an NPC uh, in your Mild Mildred. Uh, but I'm running, s I was running slower in this swamp, so... That's why we have the iron rusted ring, rusted iron ring. Yama no match for me, I'm resentably so, y'all. Praise the moon, wherever it is. So I got 8,748 souls, and I got three humanity, and a butcher knife. Oh. Could have summoned someone. Definitely not. I'm kind of worried about being... Oh, my leg was doing... <laughs> Oh, my leg's not going to do it this time. Ah. Uh. <laughs> my leg was sticking up. It's been doing that. <laughs> when you get at a certain angle of the bonfire down here. Or just any bonfire, I guess it does that. It's queer. <laughs> Dragon scale. For the weapon, I'm not going to be upgrading. A la the Drake sword. Actually, that reminds me. Uh, we didn't get the Hydra. That's fine. We can get that. Uh, we can get that when, whenever we get back up top. Actually, didn't even need to rest again. In the way. But I'm kind of worried about uh, down here just being invaded. At least in the swamp. Up top, it shouldn't be a problem. Because only, only an insane person would invade up top. And maybe we'll just see one of them insane people. And I can't be helped. Poison isn't as big of a deal as toxin. For whatever reason. Uh, actually, since the bonfire is just right here, might as well just rest. Um, but, oh, before we do anything else, we need to, uh, we need to go left. We need to go that way. And we need to visit the, uh, Great Hollow. It's a giant tree. Sheesh. We also need to visit the bonfire again. I also need to 
take off my hoodie. Eh. Eh. Enjoy my face for the moment. Ugh. It's been getting warmer outside. That's for sure. I'm also sort of tired. See, right? Ready? Here we go. Scrub toast, my dear. Tired. Any time now. Just lower. <laughs> Probably doesn't even matter. I'm just gonna get poisoned again. Hey! Over here! Hurry, the flies are coming. Come on, hurry up. There you go. Yeah, that's the way. That path right over there. That's the way we need to go. We need to get a uh, ring. The Chloranthi ring. I believe it was called. It started with a C. It was something like that. It had the Anthe in it. But actually, first, I'm going to head over that way. Not even poisoned. <laughs> Double KO. Draw. They they usually drop uh green uh shards. And I'm pretty sure that those Oh, a large tight knife shard, alright. And those you, uh, I'm pretty sure you use mostly for, uh, fire-based weapons. Which I've never actually, uh, upgraded to a fire-based weapon, so. I wouldn't know, that's why. Attack of the worms. Slugs. I wonder if I brought some salt. They would get angry. Fire will do. Burn these mofos! <laughs> All these carcasses. Maybe they did drop large tight night shards. I'm just being... Just being forgetful again. Wait! Wait! Oh shit! That was close. I don't want to waste any supplies if I don't need to. I mean, it's not that they cost, they don't cost that much, so it's not that big of a deal, but regardless, I don't want to waste any supplies if I don't need to. Ah, it's gonna throw them up. Whatever. It also seems that poison effect uh, lags the game as well. Actually, I was probably gonna have to use, uh... I was gonna have to use a moss probably anyway, regardless. Running over here, at least. Uh, do you have... no. Heal up. Glup. Oh, and I get another humanity. I didn't even know this. Alright, sweet. So it, it doesn't seem like it's lagging that bad. People kind of... Uh, I mean, they kind of make it overdramatic about the frame rate. I mean, yeah, the frame rate does lower, but it's not as bad as Lost Isolith. It's just lava and lighting. Lighting lags things. But, uh... So, yeah. So, here we got a wall. We roll through the wall. Here we got a chest. We open the chest. I'm like, oh, yay! It's one humanities. Well, I'm done. And I'm like, nope! Okay, now we're done. But, nope! And you got another wall. And then that leads to one of the best 
best areas in the game. Not the Great Hollow. It's past that, but sadly, we're going to have to come back to it towards the end of the game.